here for the annual Roka Breakfast. It's going to be an exciting morning. I'm honored to be representing Chelsea Community Cable Television and Robert D. Bradley, the Executive Director, and Ricky's behind the camera. Good morning, Ricky. Mr. Funari, Director of the Chelsea Roka Headquarters. How's it going? What can we expect from today? We're going to have a wonderful time this morning. We expect to have uh, at least 500 people here this morning. Uh, who We encourage people to come and support our nonprofit here in Chelsea. We do a lot of work with our 18 to 24 year old high risk youth. And it's amazing the, the people that come out who support us and help us with our people in, in the community. I look forward to engaging with everybody tonight, look, and, and this, this morning, excuse me, and, and, and having some fun. Okay, Roka began with the great Molly Baldwin. She founded this organization, and here we are today, 500 people, statewide, national model for, for what she does. She's fantastic. Molly is a, is a true leader, a visionary. Uh, she uh, replicated out in Baltimore. We're all excited about that. We have a number of sites here in Massachusetts and supporting everybody. It's, it's just a, it's going to be a great time. We're really looking forward to it. And we have outstanding speakers here today, starting with Governor Baker. Well, I, I believe the governor is uh, may not be here this morning, oh, so wow. which is unfortunate. Yep. But we do have our uh, Suffolk County Sheriff is going to be here. We're all excited about that. So, yep. And then uh, the Vichy Fong Award, we have some young people here that are going to get the award this, uh, this morning, which is outstanding. We have a couple of young men from the Lynn, Lynn site, and we have a young lady here from the uh, Chelsea site. So we're really excited about that today. If someone would like to get involved with Roker out in the Chelsea community, what do you recommend they do? Uh, come on down to the building, 101 Park Street. Please come on down. We'd love to give you a tour, show what we're doing down in the, um, the, the building, and introduce you to all the staff out there. And it's, it's really fun. Come on down. Okay, thank you so much for all you do for our, for our kids. You, From Chelsea, Joseph Perlatonder. How are you? I'm not too bad. How are you this morning? Good. You're here to support Roka. Yes, Roka does a lot of good things uh, over the past years. It's a great event. I think everybody should attend and support Roka for all that they do for all the kids throughout the cities and towns. And how are things at Chelsea City Hall? Chelsea City Hall are going pretty well. Uh, moving right along, we're coming up with the budgets uh, next week, and uh, we seem to have another good year. Okay, you look sharp as always. Thank you, I appreciate that. Okay, you great guys, to see you. Same here, thank okay. you. Okay, the city of Chelsea is represented. Hi, how are you? Hi. Welcome to television. Okay, Hi. what's your... This is Lucy? Yes, hi, I'm Lucy. <laughs> and what's your role with ROCA? Um, so I'm the Transformational Relationship Coordinator in ROCA Boston. Okay. Um, so I supervise youth workers is what it, it means. <laughs> okay, and how do you like working with the great Molly Baldwin? I love working with Molly Baldwin. Um, my favorite part about ROCA is the fact that it supports young people even um, when they don't make the right choices. So it allows them to fall and gives them an environment to be supported to like come back up. Okay, how did you come to be involved with ROCA? Yeah, um, so I worked for a probation department for a year out of um, college, and then I kind of saw the need for like hands-on work and for um, more like solution-driven um, models, I guess, um, and I found ROCA. Okay. <laughs> and I've been with them for about um, three and a half years. Okay, and you're enjoying it. I love it, yeah. Okay, thank you so much, <laughs> thank Lucy. Thank you. Have a good one. Okay, Molly Bowen, you are a role, a role model. You've set up a, a, an organization that's a national model. Tell us about the beginnings and how far you've come and what a great day this is, this breakfast. Oh, well, thank you. First of all, it's a big group effort. we got a wonderful team, staff team and board and partners, and we're so lucky to know and work with young people. We're just thrilled. It's funny you ask about the past I can barely remember it's been so long ago um, but Chelsea's where we started and Chelsea's our heart and home yep. and we're just really lucky to be able to be with young people and watch them make big changes and incredible partners with the government and with police and probation and community members and we're really excited this morning to honor some young people and some of our partners and to say thank you how rewarding is it for you, Molly, to turn so many lives around and get them on the right path? Well, the mo I mean, just witnessing people make changes, particularly people who've struggled with really hard issues, is pretty stunning. It's sort of a gift. It's a really a gift. And watching the staff team kind of be with other young people and help them is just, it's pretty remarkable. 
a pretty lucky person. We have a distinguished slate of speakers today. Could you talk about that? Yeah, so today um, we have uh, the Sheriff Tompkins as our MC. Um, unfortunately, the governor, the lieutenant governor are busy, so they ended up not being able to come, but we really appreciate their support and have the privilege of working with them on different occasions. We're excited. Commissioner Gross from the city of Boston is our yes. keynote speaker. And then um, Michael Jacobson, who has um, worked at the Vera Justice Institute and ran correctional institutions and is now at CUNY, is just a really um, smart and capable person in the criminal justice world, and he's speaking. And we get to honor three young people, Keishla and Joey and Chris, who have just made just incredible changes in their lives, and they're very courageous. So we're really excited. When you started this organization, did you ever think it would grow to be this national model that it's become? Oh, no. <laughs> no. And, like, I mean, when I started, not only uh, was I sort of leading the team, but I also did a lot of outreach in the community and with young people, and I, I miss that the most. Okay. If it was up to me, I'd just go be a youth worker. And your heart will always be in Chelsea. It will. It will. That's where it is. Okay. Thank, thank you, you so you much. Thank you so much. Good. Okay. Enjoy this morning. Thank, Thank you. you. There she is. That was Molly Baldwin. Hi. Let's move on. How are you, sir? Good. Yourself? Yeah. This is Chip Smith. Mr. Smith, what brings you here today? Just happy to be here supporting Roker. They're a great organization. Molly does a lot of good work. Um, just happy to be a part of it. Okay. Thank you for your support. Thank you. Okay. All right. Let's move on here. How are things with you? Oh. Hi, how are you? This is Ada. Hi, nice to meet you. You want to introduce all the people at the welcoming table? Let me give you the microphone. Hi, everyone. Uh, this is Destiny. Destiny is one of our amazing youth workers in Roca Chelsea. And right over here is Lois. Uh, she's very busy registering people in here. Uh, it will be right over here with Lily. Uh, Lois, I want to introduce you to the cameraman. Hi, cameraman. Uh, so Lois is managing our program uh, to help all of our young men get SNAP benefits. So it's a really, really important job. <laughs> um, and then uh, Mercedes uh, in the back, uh, she's actually an intern with us here at Roca. And she just recently submitted great recommendations on how we can improve our young moms program. So she's amazing. And I'm going to have her say hi. Mercedes. Mercedes is awesome. And over here is Lily. She's the brains behind everything that we do at Roca. And um, she is looking for a person to register right now. Uh, she organized all of this for us so that it can work. And Allie, over there in the back, uh, she's our grants person. Uh, so uh, director uh, of grants. And um, she helps us get all of the money to make all the programs going. So. We're lucky to have her. And it looks like they're busy, so I'll introduce them later. All right. Thank you. All right. Hi. Welcome. How you doing? How are you, sir? Hey, We're on television. Let me get your name. Scott. Scott Schaffenberg. How are you? How are you? Roca staff. What's your role with Roca, sir? I'm the chief operating officer. Okay. So you're very, very important to the whole operation. The whole operation is important. Our youth workers are the most important. They're great. Okay. So how did you come to be involved with ROCA? Um, it's a great opportunity to help the young people that need some help. Okay. And what do you want to say about the great Molly Baldwin? Unbelievable. Great coach, great leader. She's great for everybody. She's okay. awesome. Nice to see you here at the Good breakfast. Good to see you. Good okay. to see you. That was the COO. Dan Passacantilli, come on in. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. Say, say hello to the people. We know you have a well-known family in the Boston area. I lived in Boston my whole life. I work for Chelsea now. I do a lot of the outreach. Uh, I work for Roka now. I do a lot of the outreach with the gen young men that are in the uh, prisons. And I, we get them as a referral. And I transition them to Roka f for services when, when they release. Okay. That's what I do. All right. Great to see Thank you. Thank you. How's Thank the family? You. Family's fine. Six grandchildren, and I'm keeping busy. Okay, thank you, sir. Great yeah, to see you. Likewise. Okay. We met earlier. We compliment on his beautiful suit, and here he is. <laughs> Introduce yourself to the people at Chelsea. I'm Rajon Brooks, um, the employment manager for the Boston site. Where is the Boston site located? 845 Albany Street in Roxbury. 
What's it like to work for this outstanding organization? It's it's beautiful. Yep. Um, uh, I love it. I've been in this work for, uh, I've been doing youth work in Boston for a little over 15 years now, and, yep. and no one serves the population that that um, that Roca serves quite like Roca. You know, um, it's um, it's amazing the the uh, the relentless outreach um, approach um, and Roca's model is um, just a, a true testament to. Uh, to the passion uh, of Molly Baldwin, um, and and the true need for for this uh, for this work in the city. Okay. You know, so, thank you for being here today. Thank you. Okay. Hey. <laughs> How are you, young? Yeah, I'm great. Yeah, it's a, we've been waiting for this morning for a long time. Very excited to be with everyone here today. Thank yeah, you. We have a distinguished speakers. We do. Yeah. Yeah. Michael Jacobson is one of the most inspiring leaders in the country for criminal justice reform. And Commissioner Gross, of course, you know, real leadership in the city of Boston, which is really encouraging. And what do you want to say about Molly Baldwin? Well, that's a leader to follow. This yeah. is what I'm doing, and yeah. I've been enjoying it tremendously. Okay, anything else? Thank you very much. You like to stay behind the scenes, I huh? I do, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> Great to see you. Yeah. Okay. Hi. What, what's your name? Catherine. Hi, Catherine. Hi. What brings you here today? Um, well, actually, a colleague of mine is on the board of ROCA, and we're uh, sponsoring a table to support the fantastic work of what ROCA is doing. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Karen, how are you? Welcome. Hi. Hi. Say hello to the people at Chelsea. Hi. Hi, everyone. Good morning. You're looking forward to the speaking program? Oh, yes. Very uh, excited to be here. We're sponsoring a table with Globalization Partners today. Okay. Let's yeah. move on to Dana. Yeah. This is Dana. How are you? I'm fine. How's the coffee? The coffee is delicious. It couldn't have come fast enough. Okay. <laughs> and it's nice of you to support this organization. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm also with Globalization Partners, but I'm also a Chelsea resident. So oh, this wow. is a cause that's uh, dear to my heart. So, so you watch Chelsea Community Cable Television? All the time. Every yeah. day. Great. <laughs> so we have the great Ricky here, and uh, he's behind the camera. Very cool. Thanks, guys. How do you like Chelsea? Chelsea's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Have you lived in Chelsea for a long time? Uh, about six years. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, it's it's changing, hopefully for the better, not for the worse. But I know that has mixed uh, feelings. Yeah. <laughs> so I try to be part of the community and active because it's so strong there. Okay. As you know, that's where Roker began. I did know that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm sure you read the Chelsea Record newspaper as well. I do. I do. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. Nice to see you, Dana. Nice to see you. Thank you so much. Okay. Rooka, how are you? Good, how are you? It's Rooka Price. Yes. What brings you here today? Uh, my wife is involved with Rooka and uh, friends with Jason Owen and just uh, really enjoying the event. Okay, it's going to be an exciting morning. Yes, thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Okay, thanks for being here. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's move on. This is Scott Blackman. Yes. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? And what brings you here today, sir? I'm the CFO for Roca. Oh, the Chief Financial Officer. Oh, well, yes. So you're very important to the success of Roca. Well, I'm part of the whole team. The whole team is very important to Roca. Yeah, and Roca in, 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 has a solid foundation. Yes, yeah, so we, we're an excellent organization. We have great funders. Events like this really show that. They're all here to support us. It, it, it's been great. And how about Molly Baldwin? We love her in Chelsea. She does a great job. Molly is one of those people that you look to because she's going to make a change in the world that's going to make the world a better place. And she certainly has done that. She does and does it every day. Okay, where are you from originally? Uh, I grew up in Connecticut and uh, I've been in Massachusetts for 22 years. So you've always liked the Red Sox, Bruins, Patriots, and Celtics? Uh, well, most of those teams. I'm a big Patriot fan. Okay. That's and good. go Bruins. We won last yes. night. <laughs> very good. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Good good morning. How are you today? Your name, sir? Steve Donnelly. And what brings you here today, Mr. Donnelly? Um, we work very closely with Roca. We support their efforts throughout the year. So and what organization are you representing? So we're with USI Insurance. We're their insurance broker for their employee benefits. Excellent. Should Great be an exciting morning. It is. It always is a fun time. So okay. nice Good to, to see, see you. You as well. Okay. Awesome. Please say hello to the people of Chelsea. Hi. Hello, people of Chelsea. My name is Carl, and I'm the director of Roca Boston. Oh, so how's it going in Boston with Roca? It's going amazing. It's uh, we're still young. We're still um, trying to figure a lot of stuff out, but we're we're working with over 220 men and trying to make as much impact as we can. Yes, it's it's very re rewarding work, isn't it? 
It's amazing work. I mean, there's nothing like coming to work and knowing that you're making a deep impact in the community that, that we love. And this breakfast is always an excellent time. Have you been here in the past at the breakfast? Actually, this is my second year. Yep. Um, so I'm very excited. It's a, it's a Keystone event. So it's, a, it's amazing to be here. It's amazing to be interviewed and be talking to the people at Chelsea. Okay, thank you for being here. Thank you so much. Okay. <laughs> Sorry to startle you, but this is, a, this is almost live television. What is your uh, name? Ganesha Martin. And what is your role with ROCA? Uh, so I am the director of the Mayor's Office of Criminal Justice in Baltimore City, and ROCA uh, just started a, I'm about maybe eight, six to eight months ago in Baltimore City. It's under my portfolio. I just started that job about 45 days ago. So I'm here uh, with Molly seeing, I uh, did a tour of the site yesterday, tour Chelsea, and learning all about ROCA and best practices to take back to Baltimore. So you came all the way from Baltimore, Maryland. I did, I did, yes. And I'm glad to be here. And how's the mayor doing in Baltimore? The mayor is great. Okay. Yes. Okay. We love Baltimore. What's the name of the waterfront area? What do they call that? Harbor. It's like Quincy Market yeah, almost. Yeah, Harbor East. Harbor East? Uh-huh, yeah. In and the Inner Harbor, in the Inner Harbor, yeah. And we love the Orioles and the Baltimore Ravens? Yes, all right. We're all one big family here. Well, welcome to Boston and... Uh, we hope you have a great time. Thank you. I appreciate it. Glad to be here. Okay. All the way from the great city of Baltimore. Introduce so, yourself. I'm Peter Van Delft. I'm the Suffolk County Sheriff's Department Information Officer, and uh, I love ROCA. ROCA is a great organization. We do a lot of work with them. Uh, the kids benefit from it, and society does. Okay. And the sheriff is the master of ceremonies today. Master of ceremonies. He'll okay. be here doing this. This okay. is his, like, I, I can't even remember how many years he's done this for. He does an excellent job. He does. And as do you. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. And have a great time here at Roca. I know you're going to find a lot of good people to talk to. Thank you. All right. Hi, how are you? <laughs> this is almost live TV, so say hello to the people. Chelsea, introduce yourself, please. Hi, I'm Tassiani Santos. I'm from Roca, Chelsea. Uh, I do special projects management. And how's everything going in special projects? So fine. So far, so great. Um, as you can see, um, we put together this event, and so, so far, so good. Um, yeah. Everything's great. <laughs> wow, did you put together this breakfast? No, I did not. My, well, me and my team. Yep. Yes. <laughs> yes a couple great. people. Ryan, Jess, Yo, Tom, Molly. Oh, I, there's, the list goes on. <laughs> How do you like working with Molly Baldwin? Amazing. She's an inspiration, uh, super go-getter, uh, instills so much hope in us and the community, and just a fighter. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah, of course. Thank you. What's your role with Roca? I am a youth worker for the Young Mothers Program. Okay, and how is the program going? It's fantastic. It's growing and getting better every day. We get new ideas. We get new participants. We outreach to new community members. It's going great. So if somebody wants to get someone involved in the program, how would they do that? You can walk right in. Okay. We will be more to than the happy. Chelsea headquarters? Yes. Chelsea okay. headquarters. Young Mothers Program is in the second floor. So okay. just walk right in. You'll always find staff more than willing to help you and welcome you in there. Okay, thank you, Olga. Thank you. Okay. How are you, sir? I'm very well, thank you. This How is Mr. You? Wayne Young. What Hi. brings you here today, sir? I work for State Street Foundation. We're a supporter of ROCA, and I believe strongly in the cause, so it's uh, wonderful to see what ROCA does. Wow, I noticed a little accent there. Where are you from originally? All the way from New Zealand, but uh, I've been here in Boston 12 years. Wow. How do you like it? Oh, I love it, of course. Yep. What, can, what can you say? <laughs> And your name was? My name is Kerry Schumann. I'm named after Kerry Grant, the great, the great Welsh actor. actor, yes. Was he Welsh? I believe I no he was. Idea. Well, I'm sure you would know more than I. Excuse me, ladies, we're on television. Hi. Allison, we'll start with you. Sure. Okay, she's on the ROCA staff. Uh, are these all staff members? or? No, these are not all staff members. Oh, why'd you see the counselor? I didn't hear... How are you? That's counselor Judith Garcia from yes. Chelsea, yes. city counselor. She's so popular. Oh, okay. Yes. Um, so I'm. Ta we're talking a little bit about um, the Boston site yep. and how you know I'm. In, I've been an intern over there since August. Um, yep. I'm just finishing up my internship. I'm a graduate student over at BC, and um, so we're talking a little bit about the peace unit and how I've been involved in the peace unit. We're talking a little bit about Roca's organizational model and how that looks, you know, in Chelsea versus in Boston, um, and just like the little bit the differences that are between the two sites based on the guys that we serve, um, and so I. I, have you learned a lot? 
enjoying it, yeah. I have to ask you about Boston College because our boss, <laughs> Robert Bradley, his grandson, Austin, yeah. who's six foot four and a great wow. baseball pitcher, wow. attends BC. Oh. How do you like BC? Um, I, it's been a great experience. I'm a graduate student, um, so I'm a little bit more removed from the campus itself because I'm not an undergrad. So, you know, I go in for my classes, I come back out, but I've had some really awesome professors. Um, I've had, I, I mean, Roca has been totally integral and critical to my experience at BC. Um, I don't think I would have had the, the ex, you know, the experience at BC without Roca. So, it's been awesome. Well, yeah. I'm going to let you continue the interview. I'm going to hand you the microphone, and you can talk to our city councilor, Judith, yeah. and to Rachel. Here you go. Here's the microphone. Oh. Oh, hi. 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 I'm Rachel Savis. <laughs> I'm with the United States Attorney's Office. That's awesome. And I'm city councilor, Judith Garcia, and I'm so glad to be learning so much about ROCA and the incredible work that they do, not only in Chelsea, but also in the news site in Boston. What interests you the most about ROCA? Oh, it's a great question. I think um, it's a program that I'm learning so much about. Um, I know they've been around for years, but it's great to be here and learn firsthand from employees and staff that are so devoted, like yourself. Yeah, awesome. Thank you. Thank you. What about you? Um, similar, uh, similar interests, um, mass incarceration, especially yeah. focused on the youth aspect. And like we discussed earlier, um, there's a lot of theory that goes into these um, making this change, but then actually studying the systems and seeing how it's implemented, yes. which yeah. is great. Again, talking to you and getting a first-hand look at it. Awesome. Thank you so much. How are you, sir? Hi, how are you? This is Brian Hoare. How are you doing? Good, thank you. And what brings you here today, sir? Uh, just our collaboration on uh, behalf of the Hamden County Sheriff's Department with our, uh, our friends from ROCA. Wow, so you came a long way to be here. We did. We did, but it's worth it, and we appreciate the invite. And is that Mr. Champagne over here? It is. Okay. What's your role with the Hamden County Sheriff's Department? I'm uh, an assistant superintendent. I run the pretrial housing units. Okay. Well, first of all, thank you for all you do in law enforcement. It's unsung, her unheralded work, but I know it's for so important to society. Yes, sir. Thank you. And where do you live? Uh, Springfield, Mass. So did you drive here today from Springfield? Got, I came here from Springfield, took the wrong exit, got stuck in your tunnel. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Very good. And how is the new casino doing in Springfield? Doing very well. Uh, they're bringing in some good venues. We just had Cher there. Oh, um, we love Cher. Yeah, she was there Tuesday or recently. Yeah. Recently, yeah. yeah. yeah so it's, uh, it's good for the area. Okay. Always a pleasure. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay. We're on television. How's it going? Uh, sorry, I know you were drinking your coffee. Yeah. Uh, introduce yourself, please. Uh, my name is Joe Amaral. Uh, we're with Market Basket. I'm with Stephanie Johnson, oh. and we're here to uh, support the, the cause. Hello to the people of Chelsea. Oh, good morning, Chelsea. How are you? What's your role with ROCA? Uh, we are involved with Springfield Probation. I'm an associate probation officer, Tara Parker. Wow, a lot of Springfield people are here yes. today. Yeah, we're showing our presence here in Boston. Thanks for having us. Okay, thanks for being here. Thank you. Here. Okay. We know this gentleman, <laughs> the most popular guy in Lynn, Massachusetts, ran for sheriff, a great victory. Sheriff Carpenter, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. How are you, Corey? Good. You're here to support ROCA. Absolutely. When I was the chief in Lynn, we had a great working relationship with, with, with ROCA, Molly Baldwin. She's wonderful, very, you know, very uh, great initiatives coming out of the program. And now that I'm the sheriff, she, you know, they, they come up, they work with us, they come inside the jail while the inmates are still incarcerated. And she makes that link between working with the inmates while they're inside. So when they leave, you know, she continues those, those relationships. So, like, our goal is, and we say it to the inmates, and I say it tongue-in-cheek, thanks for staying, but don't come back. You know, so go back to the community, work with Roker and folks like that, build those relationships back up with your family and your friends, and go back to society and stay on the right path. And that's what Roker does. I love them. How are things in Essex County? Essex County's big. You know, we believe it or not, now we have the number one population in terms of inmates in the state. So we got a lot of programming uh, programs going on now. We started the new one two weeks ago. Something very unique. It's called the Hardscape Program. We got a nice grant where we uh, we work with Essex North Shore Technical High School, teaching the inmates how to do uh, masonry uh, for landscape purposes, walls, patios, columns like that. The inmates love it because it's outdoor work. Um, we had graduated our first class two weeks ago with uh, a dozen individuals and. One guy's already been released. He already has a job with a landscape firm, and we have two others in waiting. It's looking good. Okay, enjoy the breakfast. You too. Thanks for talking. Okay. All the best. 
That was the sheriff of Essex County, John Fleming, Roca staff. Yes, I am. What's your role with Roca? I'm the project director of the Central American Youth Initiative at Roca How, Chelsea. How's that going? Uh, it's going pretty wonderfully at this point. And what's it like to work with Molly Baldwin? Uh, <laughs> um, she always drives you to be a little better than you were yesterday. Okay. Where are you from originally? Um, I come from Massachusetts Irish, although I was born in Virginia, and I kind of made my, my way back home as an adult. Okay, great to see you. Thank you. Okay. This Good is morning. Jason, Assistant Director of ROCA. Yes, sir. How's it going? Good morning. I'm um, just overwhelmed to be here to see all the support for our organization. Um, you know, I've been working at ROCA for 13 years, and I'm always blown away by these events and how many people come out to support us. So I'm very, very happy to be here this morning. And we see you at so many events in Chelsea. Is outreach so important and to, to publicize the great work that Roca does? Um, I, I think it is. Um, you know, uh, I'm, I'm a member of many boards in the city of Chelsea. I actually am a resident of the city of Chelsea. I love the community. Uh, it's why I've been at Roca for 13 years, because I fell in love with the city first, then the organization second. So that's why I'm here. And you work side by side with Molly. I work side by side with Molly, my supervisor Joe Fanari, and and I uh, work with all the police partnerships that we have in twelve cities and towns, and uh, the district courts. And we're fortunate to have the Chelsea Police Department as a great partner are, to Roca. We are Captain Batcher has been a great friend to Roca. Chief Brian Kais has been a great friend. Uh, without them, it's gonna it would be nearly impossible for me to do my job on a daily basis. So we're very, very happy. And the Tom Ambrosino also. Okay, we'll be back with the speaking program and the entire program for the people of Chelsea to enjoy. It should be exciting, and we're so happy to be here at the Intercontinental Hotel for the Roca Breakfast. From the Massachusetts Judiciary, District Court Chief Justice Paul Dowling. Juvenile Court Chief Justice Amy, maybe I'm going to mess up your name. Nashtel, I think, I'm sorry. Probation Commissioner Ed Dolan, Chief Counsel of CPCS Anthony Benedetti, Youth Advocacy Division Director Josh Dolan, City Leaders Lynn Mayor Thomas McGee, and Revere Mayor Brian Arrigo, Boston Chief of Health and Human Services Marty Martinez. Boston City Council President Andrea Campbell, Boston City Councilors Ed Flynn and Althea Garrison, Chelsea City Manager Tom Ambrosino, Chelsea Public Schools Commissioner Mary Burke, 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 Mary Burke, I knew that, I'm sorry, Chelsea uh, Council President Damali Wydot, Chelsea Councilors Joseph, Joe, you know I always mess up your name, so I'm not even going to try. Uh, Giovanni, uh, Giovanni Papuprio and Judith Garcia, Baltimore Director of Mayor's Office of Baltimore, Baltimore's in the house, okay? Baltimore Director of Mayor's Office of Criminal Justice, Denisha Martin. Georgia's a long list. Law Enforcement Partner. Oh, Law Enforcement. The President of the Massachusetts Sheriff's Association and one of the tallest guys in the room. Peter Katusian in the house! What's up, Peter? I love you, brother. Essex County Sheriff Kevin Coppinger, who I also adore. Great guys. Middlesex County District Attorney Mary Navarro. Hamden County District Attorney Anthony Galoon. Berkshire County District Attorney Andrea Harrington. Boston Police Commissioner William Gross. Boston Police Superintendent in Chief Gregory Long. Chelsea Police Chief Brian Cobbs. Lynn Police Chief Mark Matcher, Somerville Police Chief David Fallon, Revere Police Chief James Udaida, Northeastern Police Chief Mike Davis, Chelsea District Court First Justice Matthew Mashera, Lynn District uh, Court First Justice Matthew Nestor, Northampton District Court First Justice Maureen Walsh.
to what's going on. I will say this, though. Unfortunately, the governor and the lieutenant governor could not be here with us today, but they do send uh, their regrets. Now, as we know, Roca has grown incredibly. When you look at all of the folks who are working there, they began in Chelsea. They are now also in Boston, Lynn, Springfield, Holyoke, and Baltimore. So please give those folks at Roca a rousing round of applause for all the good things. Difference. You can really see 
of the impact of our work. Let's take this relentlessness and go full speed ahead and challenge whoever we have to challenge to be able to drive success in the city. Beacon Communities, 
Bennett Family Foundation, Mark and Jean Hegarty, Cartman Charitable and Educational Foundation, Mass Mutual, Massachusetts General Hospital and Partners Healthcare, Penguin Random House, and Rockport Mortgage Corporation. I'd like to add my thanks to our, our silver sponsors, the Bank of America, the Boston Consulting Group, Brown Advisory and Ethan Berkowitz, Holly and David Bruce, Fidelity Investments in Goldman Sachs, Mary and Josh Johnson, uh, Al Canem and Steve and Andrea Canem, Keith Construction, uh, Maggie Moore and Michael Fleischer, State Street Corporation, and Greg Torres and Betsy Petula. <laughs> and also a shout out to our bronze level sponsors and our, uh, our special friends uh, from A Mind and Working Gear. Uh, thank you all for your support. Jerry Herman and Sarah Mohan of Boston Consulting Group, Ethan Berkowitz and Yasmin Cruz of Brown Advisory, Claire Shaw of Liberty Mutual, and Paul Francisco, Caroline Schaefer, and Allie Weiner of State Street. Thank you. Finally, I just want to uh, uh, acknowledge the, uh, my, my colleagues on the board, those of whom are here today, and uh, many of them are, are your table mates. Get a chance to talk to them. And one, I'll also acknowledge uh, we, we have one new fella who's joined the board. Uh, some guy, I, I think we didn't put his name on the list because we couldn't figure out how to spell it. Uh, uh, please welcome Jay Ash. Joey and Chris, no one better represents hope and change than the two of you. 
To witness you standing up here, being acknowledged for your success and determination, makes every hard moment worth it. You two give us all hope. And because of all your hard work and determination, you have become leaders and role models for your peers, your local community, and your children. This is a moment I will never forget. I am overcome with pride and joy. Thank you for all that you have taught me personally about courage and resilience. It's an honor to know you and to be part of your lives. Joey and Chris, we love you, and on behalf of the entire Rover family, I present you with the BK Bond Peace Award. Congratulations.
One more time, please, a round of applause. If you want to know more about them, their bios are in your book, so please feel free. Speaking of this booklet right here, if you turn to page 15, it's got some really impactful statistics. Top of the page talks about recidivism. Those folks that cycle back into a correction facility uh, once they've been released. And if you look at the before the engagement with Roca and the after the engagement with Roca, I believe this is between uh, 2011 and 2015, we're looking at a high of about 56% prior to their engagement with uh, Roca. After, that is down to about 33%. Across the Commonwealth, we see that there's a rate is around 46%. So that speaks to just how much of an influence Roker has had in changing lives. If you go to the bottom of page 15, we're looking at violent offenses. Prior to engagement with Roker, we're looking at 90%, which is incredible. Uh, we are reoffending. For any, uh, for any offense, dropped to 33% once a broker became engaged with these folks. And for violent offenses, an astonishingly low, 3.5%. Let's hear from Roka and all of their partners. My two fellow sheriffs can attest to this. It costs about $55,000 annually to incarcerate one individual. We have over at least 1,000, 1,200 on any given day. And that's a lot of money. But when you factor in the folks that are in our facilities that have either mental health issues or substance abuse issues, that $55,000 goes to about $65,000 or $70,000. As a nation, we can do better. As a nation, we must do better. In school, we were all taught about the American dream and going after the American dream. That ideal that says every citizen should have the opportunity to achieve success and prosperity through hard work and determination. But what was left out of that was any mention of poverty and how poverty has a real negative impact on the American dream. And far too many of our citizens are suffering from mental health issues, from substance abuse issues, from homelessness. <coughs> Folks, we have to do better. We can do better. We must do better. If the United States of America is arguably the best nation on the planet in recorded history, it's embarrassing. For all, of the, for all of our citizens to suffer the way that they do. So I implore you, Roka implores you, not only to dig deep into your pockets to help Roka, but to help all social service agencies. Let's keep our kids off the streets. Let's keep our kids out of the houses of corrections and our prisons. The houses of corrections now are the de facto mental health, substance abuse, and in some instances, education facilities. We can't have that. Now let me, let me segue and introduce our keynote speaker, who is an extraordinary man, an extraordinary man that probably everybody in this room knows, have heard about. He's what I would call a cop's cop. He's been through every facet as he moved up the ladder to become the commissioner of the Boston Police Department. He's like a big brother to me. I'm always the one who gets a couple of But, uh, no, 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 let's let, Will and I, we, just, we can't, we can't be in the same room together. But I stand in awe of what not only he has accomplished, but what he is going to accomplish going forward. And I am honored to stand with both the police commissioner 
and our new district attorney, three African American citizens of the country that are really occupying very pivotal public safety positions. And it's our challenge from those communities that we serve to make sure that we get into those communities, to talk to our kids, not just kids of color, but all kids, about staying on the right track, staying out of harm's way, and doing the right thing. So please join me in welcoming to this podium our police commissioner, William Brown! I must keep going. 
I will continue to be passionate because quite frankly, folks, I've seen too many young lives lost. I've always been a street cop and I'm proud of it. Too many young lives lost. There's nothing like going to a crime scene and seeing a young person there whose life has been taken too soon. No matter what walk of life, the life's taken too soon. Because we've seen some true stories of people that were on the wrong path that went on to great things, just like Jesus Christ's disciples. That's how we become not too judgmental. But I'm telling you folks, many of you in this room, you've witnessed it, you've felt it. The members of my law enforcement family, thank you for what you do in this time of anti-police sentiment. We vow to be right here with you, Molly, and Roca. We, be, we vow to be right here for you. My two little brothers, I just adopted you. <laughs> because we have work to do, folks. You can save lives, you can go forward. And it begins with what I alluded to. Taking care of the family, strengthening the family. Do you know that in my 36 year career, all I've done with my brothers and sisters in the criminal justice system, 36 years, all the bad kids that I've met to rock with, <coughs> pretty much have had broken families. Pretty much have had the attitude like, if you don't care, I don't care. Everyone's left us alone. It's survival mode. And then stuff is so bad I have to escape. I gotta take drugs, I gotta feel good, I gotta do something. When we all started working together, and creating programs and initiatives, and having excellent programs like Broke Up, then you give those families a sense that you are not alone and people care. You're not alone. We have your back. And guess what? Here's what's available for you. Not just this section or this section. Here's what's available for you as well. What I like about Broca starts with another R. Relentless. Relentless, relentless, relentless. Do not give up. Not everyone gets the message on the first try. And sometimes people will test you out to see if you're going to stay with them, or you're just going to be a flash in the pan. Again, broke up, relentless, and in it for the long run. Folks, I am telling you right now, things begin with the family, and you are part of the family. You must make sure no one feels like they're left out. Everybody should have a sense of justice. Everybody should have safety. Everybody should have a vision for their future. But sometimes we need a little help with that. And again, that's where you come in. This great program that you have for the young mothers is incredible. Mothers are great, but they need help too. And I'm gonna tell you, I went to Chelsea and I visited my brother. Chief Kais, I was in your house, I should have told you, sorry about that. <laughs> but I went there and I was happy because I met additional Roka staff. I met the women in the program. And you were providing them with the future. I saw the confidence when they were learning lessons. I saw the zest, zeal, and passion of the people that worked there that were guiding these young women so that their children will have a better life. And that they, the mothers, will become our ambassadors and just spread the word that people do care for you. They do have your back. And we do want you to be a productive member of the village. Let that sink in. Don't let it become a jaded African proverb. It takes a village. Let's let that sink in. And this, let's vow to work together. Roka, you're a shining example of passion and commitment. Our law enforcement brothers and sisters, by the way, we have learned 
from the past, that you can't just be the warrior class, but you must, must develop community policing. You must listen to the people, speak for the people at times, but never forget that you came from the people. I commend my brothers and sisters in law enforcement in this room right now. They are passionate. We will not give up. And I heard you mention something about worrying about cops. Tell them you got a big brother that's a commissioner. <laughs> and we'll talk about anything. And I will go with you anywhere to talk to people to send a message that, yes, even law enforcement, we have your backs too. And I'm telling you right now, my brothers and sisters here in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, they get it. My brothers and sisters in Baltimore, they get it. I'd like to give Baltimore a big shout out because I'm from Maryland too. <laughs> and it takes one village to help another village. So thank you again, Molly, for helping out my brothers and sisters in Baltimore. So folks, I don't want to take too long. I just wanted to send you that message. I just wanted to let you know that when you have organizations like ROCA that are here and committed for the long run, that are already doing astronomical things, when you have the commitment from every level, we have the governor, lieutenant governor, we have our great congresspersons, everybody in the state. You have Mayor Walsh, and I'm not just shouting out names just to, you know, these are people that make a difference. Every one of you in here, in your politics, in your law enforcement, in your services, the private sector, everybody, this is the village. We're here for you. We're here for the mothers. When I leave this podium, I hope you're not clapping for me, but I'm hoping that you are applauding yourselves. And I'm hoping that you are energizing yourselves for the work that's still to be done. And I'm glad that Roke is a part of that, and I'm glad that we'll all travel that journey together to make this Commonwealth, the great United States, and our world a better place for our future, and that's our children. Thank you.
Alexis is a very happy child, which is common if we mom to the breakfast. And he's very kind and friendly, and it is so wonderful to see you together. You focus on your own goals, Alexis' goals, and you work so hard for your future. You used to see the world in black and white, but now it's a full of color. You became independent, self-sufficient, and it is a privilege to see you believing in yourself. I'm so proud of the long way you made and how you took advantage of every opportunity of our I'm so honored to know you and have this award for you. I really, you really set up an example of other young mothers at Roca and all of us here today. Thank you, Keisha. Working in a hotel for almost two years, 
I can apply to be a supervisor because I feel confident in my skills and my English has improved. I finally took my first vacation. I still have many more hopes and dreams for me and my son. My next goal is to take college classes at Bunker Hill and in the future work in administration. At Roca, my favorite class was computer skills. Thanks to Roca, I see part of myself that I did not see before. I am stronger and more positive. Last year, I learned digital storytelling and share my story with others. I hope I can be a real example for other young moms. Today, I have my car, my apartment, my stable job, and my child in school. I decide not to let anyone harm me mentally or physically. Work can explain how grateful I am with my new workers and teachers, especially Ignacia, Paola, and Loriana and all the John Mother's team that was there every step of the way, believing in me, showing up for me, and pushing me. Thank you so much for listening to my story and for your support. Thank you.
more intentional about what you can do for Roca. All of that is good, just write in some words. Or if you want to be brief, just write your name and the words, I'm in. Uh, that means a lot to us. So uh, whatever is right for you, numbers or words, I encourage you to pick up the card, pick up the pen. Very simple. I'm a lefty. You can do it with the right hand, too. It works. Um, put it in the basket uh, on the table, uh, or leave it with one of the Roka people. Um, uh, if you are more comfortable swiping your credit card, uh, rather than writing a check or writing in numbers, uh, we have uh, folks at the back and on the doors on your way out, so they're all waving back there, they're all eager, and they're equipped with a proper gizmo to uh, take your credit card swipe. That would be great. As I think we have already said, and my fellow speakers have said, there could not be a probably a more important time in our society and in our country to show that we can work together and that change is possible. So please, and thank you for your support and for all that. I'd rather see young folk with Roker and not with uh, <clears throat> myself or Sheriff Petusian or Sheriff Coppinger. I'm in for $1,000. Our governor's DA, our new district attorney, earlier, I will say this before we introduce her video. She sent a short video. She couldn't be here today with us. But let me say this, she's been in the news a lot, and whether you like what she's saying or if you don't like what she's saying, she is changing the conversation about what goes on in criminal justice and in public safety. And to that, I commend her, I wish her Godspeed in what she's trying to get accomplished, and please keep your eyes on D.A. Rollins because she is truly a change agent. And please watch this video that she just sent along. Take it away. Hello, Roca. It's Rachel Rollins, uh, the district attorney of Suffolk County. I wanted to make sure I made a video. I'm really sorry I can't be there. I'm traveling with about 20 or 30 other district attorneys uh, to Europe to see some of the wonderful work they're doing uh, in their criminal justice system so we can bring it back here uh, to Suffolk County and elsewhere. But I felt really compelled um, to just thank you for the wonderful hard work that you do. Um, everyone in the room knows that the population that you are focusing on are the individuals that need the most of our help. Um, Molly, you are fearless. I look at you uh, not just as a leader, but a person I aspire to be like. I think you go um, where the hardest work needs to be done. I think you've been told no so many times, but you continue moving forward, uh, and you've built something really, really special. Yotam, I appreciate you asking me um, to be involved in this program, and I'm happy to say I'm uh, a, dear, a dear friend of now and a fan of Carl, who's the head of Roca Boston. So um, I want to thank you for all of your work and your collaboration. Um, I learned from you to make sure that I'm being a little more collaborative in my life. You are lucky to have Commissioner Gross as your keynote, and I want to make sure I thank Joey, Chris, and I think it's Keshla, who are your young leaders that are going to be winning awards today. So I'm very proud of you. Um, remember this face. I'm going to be actively involved in your life, and I want to be somebody who the individuals in your program look at as a potential employer one day and somebody who's rooting for their success. So enjoy the morning. Um, I hope I'm enjoying Europe. Uh, and I look forward to it. <laughs> We're so grateful for the remarks of District Attorney Rollins. We look forward to working with her and her team, along with District Attorney Ryan, District Attorney Maloney, and District Attorney Harrington, who we just met. So thank you so much. I'm really excited also to introduce our next speaker. His bio is in your book. And, and using one of his favorite words, he's done a lot of stuff. But what I can tell you is that it's a lot of good stuff. He's run a cr criminal justice institution. He's worked on New York City's budget. He continues to oversee innovation in criminal justice and government in a way that is most remarkable. He also has a deep commitment to helping people, a great big heart, 
important to us, a tremendous sense of humor. It is my privilege to introduce you to our friend, Michael Jacobson.
that does what Roca does. Um, their model of working with the highest risk folks, the folks who have the most risk of both harm and be harmed is pretty extraordinary. Um, and axiomatic to Roca, their model is to work with folks who desperately don't want to work with them. Uh, ready to come to Roca? No thanks. At the point of being ready to, to receive and get services, good luck in the organization that they will refer you to. Desperately don't want to come to Roca and will do anything on God's green earth not to work with the likes of you. Welcome aboard. Um, it's really, it's, it's a hell of a business model. Uh, um, and nobody does this, right? Nobody. Um, no organization works as intensively with young people at the local and neighborhood level that ROCA does. Um, and it's precisely the population that they work with who is a population we should be working with. Uh, the ROCA model, and I think research has borne this out and experience, has the greatest potential to engage these folks who have suffered from years of cumulative trauma. It's the reason that they were the first social impact bond program in the country. Well, okay, the second, but they were the best. Um, and there's a reason that there was essentially a competition among cities to try to get them to come to their city to replicate their model. These cities aren't stupid, right? They're very sophisticated. And they do this not because of some relentless self-promotion, all too common in our field. Right? They do it because ROCA is incredibly transparent. Um, it has been subject to all sorts of internal and external uh, reviews of what it does and how it does. Um, and their numbers, their data, their performance metrics are out there. That in and of itself makes them an incredibly unusual organization. And the quality that epitomizes Roca, the willingness to engage and tolerate and embrace huge amounts of organizational risk. And I was going to say you can't imagine the risk they engage, but you can. Um, but to, to combine that with a sort of institutional introspection, opening themselves up to incredibly annoying academic researchers <laughs> um, who look at every aspect of their performance and constantly feedback and have them refine their model over time. That's what makes them at the top of their field. So what's the challenge for them going forward? For me, I guess it's how to think about scale. And scale is a very sort of overused, kind of ephemeral word, word in this sector, uh, but it's really applicable here, right? How in this phase of Roca's life, expanding to Baltimore is obviously part of that, but how do they think about spreading this around to the greatest extent they can? Because as I said before, no one basically does what they do. It's no small challenge, no small challenge, but they've earned the right to face that challenge and to grapple with that challenge. And they've earned that right for a number of reasons. They have a dedicated, passionate, innovative, tireless, and fearless leader. You know what's her name? Oh, Molly. Uh, um, and that kind, of, that kind of leadership is necessary, but it's never sufficient for an organization to be where, where Roca is. You have to have the staff. You have to have the staff and the commitment, staff at the leadership level, and staff at the line level. The case managers, the youth workers who do this work, and this is hard, challenging, tough work they do. Um, having run a variety of organizations in my life, I understand how both rewarding it is for those folks that do this work, but how difficult it can be. And at times, it can just suck the life out of you. Um, and you don't get to where you are without having a staff that Roca has. Um, and it's a testament to that staff 
that you're in this room today and Roca is sort of replicating their model. It wouldn't happen without Molly and it certainly wouldn't happen without the staff. But it's not just a testament to them, but also as you've seen to the young adults who they work with, who work so hard, um, who have overcome so many obstacles, <coughs> obstacles that most people in this room will never know or cannot possibly comprehend. Um, and they work so hard for years to become thriving members of their community. It's a testament to them as well, and it's a pleasure and an honor to speak on all their behalf. Thank you. Most of all, help us to be hopeful. 
All of our children and our young people need us. They matter. Thank you so much.